Hi, I'm Jeremy Krimke, Craftsman Welder here at the Paul Mueller Company. Today we're going to install a manway into a small head. I'm going to show you how to do that and keep the manway round in the process. I've added my quarter marks and for this size of head I will tack it in four places down to the table to help hold it in place. After test fitting, you may have to grind some areas back on the head to ensure a good fit. Using a jib hoist, I will lower the manway into the head and line it up using the quarter marks. After lining up your quarter marks, it is important to make sure your manway is sitting level in the head. Now tack it at the quarter marks and proceed to close tack it all the way around. Okay, so we've got our manway tacked into place. It's level and we're ready to weld. I'm going to install this heat sink just like that. It'll clamp into place. This will help prevent the manway from getting out of round when we weld it. If you don't have a heat sink, you can use a piece of 3 quarter inch thick plywood. You want to cut it to match the inside of the manway and it needs to fit snug. This will help prevent the manway from going out of round during the welding process. After clamping the heat sink to the manway, you're ready to weld all the way around. Okay, so we've got the outside welded. We're going to let it cool off completely before we cut it loose. After that, we'll be ready to flip it and weld the inside. Be sure to leave your bracing or your heat sink on the inside attached to the manway until you've done all welding and everything cools down completely. Then you'll be ready to cut it loose. If you have any questions, call us here at the Paul Mueller Company. Thank you.